And uh, she's the attorney representing Beverly Young Nelson. Uh, Gloria, thanks uh, for joining us. So what's your response to Roy Moore's lawyers? Did you hear a denial of uh, Beverly Nelson's claims or just serious questions as far as he is concerned about Roy Moore's handwriting? Well, I, I don't know what all of his concerns are, but I will say this, Wolf. Yesterday, I emailed a letter to the chairs of the United States Senate Judiciary Committee and the United States Senate Select Committee on Ethics, in which I formally requested that those committees conduct a hearing within the next two weeks regarding the accusations made by the five women who alleged that they were victims of Roy Moore when they were teenagers. And my client, Beverly Young Nelson, volunteered, and she volunteered on Monday at our press conference, to testify under oath at a hearing before these committees regarding what she alleges Roy Moore did to her. And we also urged the committees to subpoena Roy Moore to testify under oath about his denials of the accusations that have been made against him. So in the event that either or both committees agree to conduct our requested hearing, then we would agree to have the original yearbook examined by an independent expert or experts who would obtain exemplars of Mr. Moore's handwriting during the period in question and compare that handwriting to that which is contained in the yearbook. And so the time has come for Roy Moore to announce whether he's willing to be examined under oath concerning his conduct with regard to the five accusers before the Senate committees. And we're looking forward to the Senate's response and to his response to that question. Well, if the Senate doesn't do it, are you still prepared to let uh, outside observers, experts, look at the handwriting in that yearbook? You know, we think that this should be done in a, uh, you know, in a professional setting. And this is what we have proposed. And we're not going to be distracted. Is he or is he not going to stand up, take the oath, and swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help him God, before the United States Senate? And before the public, not only in Alabama, but before the nation, when he is ready to do it, if he's ready to do it, if the Senate will conduct that needed hearing prior to the election, then we have made our offer to allow an independent examiner to examine this. We think that's reasonable. And But until, until then, if he wants to ev ev evade, avoid, deny, distract, threaten to sue, try to smear, try to discredit. We're not going to allow ourselves to be distracted by all of that noise. Let him step up, let him testify, and then everyone can draw their conclusion about who's telling the truth. Why will he not answer that question? Our client's willing to testify under oath. Why doesn't he indicate that he's willing to do that and do that now? not after the election. Moore's lawyer, Philip Jureggi, uh, says your client, uh, Beverly Young Nelson, did not disclose that uh, Judge Moore was the judge in her divorce case back in 1999. Did she appear before him, to, or did he just sign some documents because it appears they reconciled and actually didn't get a divorce? Well, again, a, a, another attempt to distract from the question, is he going to testify under oath or not? We're not going to be distracted. We know how it should be done. Obviously, it can't be done in a court of law because, you know, a lawsuit would have to be filed and then it could take many years. But and meanwhile, his credibility is at issue and people can decide whether she's credible or not. But Gloria, did, she's willing did she to testify. Uh, Why won't he? Why does he keep raising these these other issues? She's never stated publicly uh, whether you know anything about the divorce. She's willing to answer all questions under oath. I, I think that's more than reasonable on her part. It's more than apparently Judge Moore is ready to do. But did she know he was the divorce? judge in that 1999 case because at the news conference the other day when you were there with her she never mentioned that uh, that judge moore was in fact the judge in that divorce proceeding there's a lot that she didn't mention in her statement including perhaps other witnesses that she may have or ever other evidence that she may have which is corroborative and supportive of her so let's get it on with the hearing and you know judge moore is very capable of putting forward any defense that he may have that, you know, 
whatever he thinks he needs to do. And she's certainly willing to put it all out there and be cross-examined. And let's see Roy Moore be cross-examined. Uh, what's more important than, frankly, the court of public opinion is what people testify to under oath. And let's have it on. And if he's not willing to do it, as they say in certain parts of the country, he's got a lot of explaining but, to do. But, Gloria, just acknowledge whether or not she knew that he was the divorce judge in that 1999 case. Did she, did she appear before him? Was she aware that Judge Moore was the judge in that divorce proceeding? All of these questions will be answered at well, a Senate Well, why can't hearing. you answer that now? It's a simple question. Because this is not a Senate hearing, last time I checked. And we're not going to put everything out there unless and until but, it, but Gloria, there is it's a, a Senate it's, hearing. It's a simple question whether or not she knew he was the judge in that divorce proceeding. Uh, you know, we'll go back to the records, but uh, I assume you've discussed this with her. Well, it's a, of course, I never would disclose uh, what I would discuss with a client that might be attorney-client privileged confidential information. That was not discussed at uh, the press conference, and she did not discuss it one way or another. And there's a lot that Senator, uh, well, uh, I, I should say ju former Judge Roy Moore has not discussed, a lot that he hasn't disclosed. So let's do it in a hearing. Uh, and, and, and not be distracted by anything else. Can you I know say... he's in his desperate campaign mode, uh, you know, attack and smear and, and try to discredit. It's not going to work with us because we're very focused on that hearing. Can you say flatly to our viewers right now, Gloria, that uh, the signature, what he wrote in that yearbook in 1977, according to her, can you say flatly that was not a forgery? Well, all I'm saying is we will permit an independent examiner of the uh, writing to look at exemplars of former judge, uh, twice removed from the Alabama Supreme Court judge on account of ethical uh, violations, according to the ethics uh, committee in that state. Uh, we will allow all of this to be asked and answered at the hearing. But that's not a flat denial, uh, Gloria. Well, it, 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 all I'm saying is we're not denying, we're not admitting, we're not addressing. We will not be distracted. Uh, and we will pursue a just result for our client. But why do you need a Senate hearing on this? Why not just permit an independent handwriting examiner to go back, look at the yearbook, and see if it was genuine, that, that signature, or a forgery? Well... Uh, all I can say is that we want it done in a professional setting to the extent possible. That's the only setting in which people can testify under oath. And that's what we think is most important. And any, and I think it's very reasonable on our part to want to have this addressed and to say that we will submit it at that time should such a hearing be held. And that's, that is our focus. We are not going to be distracted from our mission and our goals. And it's time for the chairs of those committees to say whether they will conduct such a hearing or not. Would your client be ready to take a lie detector test? We think that testifying under oath is the best test possible. Uh, and, you know, there are polygraph tests that can be provided, but we think that testifying under oath and that is something that she's willing to do it's very courageous of her we know what has happened to others who allege that they are victims of uh rich powerful famous men we know what victims have been put through she's willing to go through whatever is necessary if there is a hearing and i commend her for that she's very courageous um and and let's see if the senate chairs are as courageous as our client is. Are they courageous enough to have a hearing? We'll have to see, because right now there is no answer, but we're looking forward to their response, and I'll be very happy to email you the letters we sent to them yesterday asking them for their response. Oh, and again, we, I hope that you'll ask Roy Moore through his attorney or Roy Moore, is he willing to testify under oath if the Senate agrees to have a hearing? Yeah. 
if he's subpoenaed to do so, or will he volunteer to do so? Yeah, we'd be, I would love to have him join us uh, here on CNN. Uh, have uh, one final question.